An ancient sleeping giant, awake and on the move. More than 100,000 square kilometers and quickly shrinking. This is where a seven square kilometer hunk of the glacier came crashing down. Glacier is down in this area here off Disco Island. When a glacier breakup this big happens, Newfoundland's offshore oil industry takes notice. Jim Bruce and his team advise companies how to avoid head-on collisions with icebergs. Last year, more than 180 icebergs were dragged safely out of the way. An iceberg that's a kilometer across, you'll, you'll likely have uh, a year's knowledge or it will be spotted much further north um, and you'll, you'll, you'll have plenty of time to react to it. Bruce predicts the Jakobsavn iceberg debris won't make it to Newfoundland in one piece. That's what happened two years ago when an iceberg monolith nearly 30 square kilometers in size floated south before breaking up near Baffin Island. The National Ice and Snow Data Center in Colorado has been monitoring the Jakobsavn glacier for years. The center's lead scientist calls it the most important glacier in Greenland. It's got the potential to drain a large area of the Greenland ice sheet. That, of course, has an impact on, on sea level rise. And if that's a trend that's going to continue as a result of greenhouse gas effects on the atmosphere, that's going to accelerate the process that we thought maybe we had some more time to figure out. Jakobsavn is now retreating 15 kilometers a year. Scientists predict the more that breaks off, the faster the glacier will disappear. Vicodopia, CBC News, St. John's.